Good morning, this is Jason Dean coming live at you again for another Film Fanatic show. It is about uh, 10.38 on a Saturday. Hope everyone's doing good. We are in November, November 2nd. Hard to believe. Just blown by. So, hope everyone's doing good. This is a, another video. I still have to post them on the, the channel, but... I have quite I have about four or five videos all set and ready. I just have to do some work to them to upload on this channel. It just kind of been a little bit busy and with with things in the morning, but I usually usually record a show every day. And what I've been doing is just recording a bunch of shows and just kind of leaving them as they are when I get to them. When I get to it, I'll eventually upload them. So I always have something kind of going on in the you know on the back burner or what have you. So uh, yeah, things have been going good. I saw a really um, saw some really cool movies the last few weeks. I also went to a movie that was a, a, a real unexpected surprise. I recorded a show about that. So yeah, that was a really cool experience, and I went to. Uh, this movie to see this really pretty low budget independent horror film that a friend of mine had just told me about. Uh, literally, you know, with uh, 40 minutes uh, notice before the movie was going to show. So I, uh, I posted a, uh, well, I, I recorded a video and it, it's going to be up pretty soon. So very, very cool. I got to meet and hang out with the director of this film. So, check that out. I will probably have that posted at some point. Pretty soon. Lately, I've been trying to... I'm almost finished with the Friday 13th franchise. I do have a few more of those uh, reviews, review videos that are that are up uh, on the channel, but I haven't posted them yet. So, I think there's like two more. So, I have... Today's show is on the... Technically, the last film in the entire Friday 13th franchise. And that is Friday 13th, more or less, or Friday 13th, and it's the, kind of the reboot. It came out in 2009. It was, um, it's hard to believe it came out in 2009. I remember when this movie came out. And I was, you know, to be totally honest, when this film came out, it stars Derek Mears as Jason, who I actually really uh, think uh, is awesome. I really like his personality. I think he makes a pretty ferocious Jason. Um, this movie, when it first came out, it was directed by Marcus Nispel. Marcus Nispel is a an interesting director. I like his stuff, but he's been known he's known for kind of directing, you know, or doing these reboots. And I think he's very, very successful. It's it's hard. It's hard, you know, because that's a hard. Those are hard shoes to 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 fill. That's that's a really you know, especially in this day and age. So. So today I'm going to be talking about. The reboot film. That came out again, which for me is it's just wild when I think that that <clears throat> that it came out in 2009, um, and to think that that's how. I mean, so it's been years. I mean, at one point, there were movies coming out almost to a degree, like, left and right in the, you know, related to the Friday 13th franchise, and so it's been it's been a long, long time. But uh, before I, I talk about this movie, and this will be actually the last review or the last movie in the franchise, and then, uh, so then that will be done, and I've done a bunch of shows full reviews of all of these movies before and I really appreciate a lot of people have been commenting on these this latest these these this latest batch of, uh, of, of videos so a lot of people commenting and, and uh, subscribing so I really appreciate that I love the interaction I love finding people out there that love all the crap that I love you know it's great um, so after this movie 2009 Jason uh, Friday 13th 
technically it will be done, but there's a documentary, I think it's called The Many Faces of Jason, which is another, well, it's a documentary, and it's obviously about Friday the 13th, and that came out around the time, I think, 2000, the, the 2009 came out, 2009 uh, movie, and the documentary itself is is not really great. It's actually a, kind of a shitty documentary. But the thing that is really, really awesome about it, and I've watched it um, so many times I can't even remember. There is a, as part of the special features, I have it on DVD, and the special features are just really, really awesome because there are all of these like real extensive interviews with every actor who's played Jason Voorhees. Uh, literally everyone everyone involved in the franchise and it's really good it's really interesting and I've watched that so many times so because that part uh, because that that thing I've always found so fascinating I'm going to include that in this show and I don't think I've covered that before so that'll be that'll be a fun thing and then by that point I will be done um, for a while ever I will stop talking about Friday the 13th so and also, you know, as I've been doing these videos, I've been watching other movies. I have a few movies that I'm going to be watching pretty soon that I'm really excited to watch that are not... I've been actually done watching the Friday 13th movies for quite a while, so yeah. So anyway, I uh, before I get into the review, I want to talk about my, uh, my Halloween. It's kind of embarrassing, but fuck it. You know, one of the things... Well, okay, I, I've heard, I've had people say, on, uh, to a degree, on, like where you could say it's two different perspectives. I've had some people criticize this channel or, or my videos because of how I will talk about lots of other things and then also talk about the obvious movie that the subject is about. And I'll try to like, and I'll talk about, you know, my music or things I've done. And then I'll tie it into the movie. And I kind of talk about the... It's a little bit more of a, a stream of consciousness video or, or format. But obviously the focus trying to be uh, the movie. And I've had a couple people criticize me for saying that I get... You know, I go off topic too much or I, I'm, I'm off in the woods. I'm not talking about the movie. And I get that. I understand that. And I, I'm open to criticisms and I and I have and I have to a degree tried to bring to try to rein in that kind of thing where I'm trying to focus it a little bit more on the film itself even though I think I do and and on the other side of the opinion uh poll or if you want to call it that I've had I've had quite a few people actually say that they like that I kind of talk about different things but then I try to show how they're all really connected, say, to that film or to that genre. And I try to keep... And, and that it's not unedited. It's not edited. It's, not, it's unfiltered. They kind of like that I uh, just have a stream of consciousness around that particular movie. And even that day of or my state of mind. So that's kind of how it is. Um, and I understand both sides. And I realize I need to pull things in. But that that being said, I wanted to talk about my my experience around Halloween this year. Uh, and again, it's kind of it's kind of funny. I look at it, I look back at it as being now. I just kind of laugh at it, and but then I also feel like, wow, that was kind of sad and pathetic. So so usually for Halloween, again, <clears throat> Halloween is my favorite holiday. I love Halloween. That's my favorite thing you know my favorite I have all kinds of great memories I love the holidays too Christmas and uh, you know Thanksgiving New Year's yeah it's all right but I'm you know I, I've always been a big fan of the holidays and especially Halloween I have lots of great memories of Halloween uh, Halloween celebrations that I've had in the past you know going to lots of really cool parties and going out and doing things really fun going completely insanely crazy with costumes and makeup Lots of memories tied to that. I mean, even last year, which was hilarious, I went, I hung out with some friends, and we, we like, got all dressed up, and we actually went out trick-or-treating, and it was hilarious. 
you know, 40 year old people running around in costumes and trick or treating. But it was funny. We went at the very tail end of the night. So there was nobody there really. And then we went home, went over to my buddy's house, drank a bunch of beer and, and ate pizza and just like ate candy all night. And it was awesome. It was super fun. And in the past, gone, you know, I have lots of great memories tied to Halloween. So this past year, I wanted to, or this year, I wanted to do something, but there wasn't anything really going on. And Halloween has definitely changed, I think, dramatically. It still means the kind of the world to me. I don't really change my habits any any differently as far as what I do or movies that I watch. Like I watch horror movie, I watch horror movies all year round. My house for the most part, is decorated in Halloween, uh, in, a, in a Halloween aesthetic year-round. I like the spooky, the spooky stuff. But I found, like, the last, well, the funny thing that's always a dilemma is, like, Halloween, you know, as far as the bar scene or people doing, even having parties at their house, or, but usually around events that are happening for adults, they're, they typically happen, you know, um, the weekend before Halloween. So, it's always the actual day of the celebrations. I always feel like it's kind of anticlimactic that way. I was in Portland last night playing at this venue called Blue, which is a, a cool venue. And they said that they had karaoke on Halloween as opposed to like having, well, they did have a band. But it sounded like it was pretty fun. But so it's, you know, it's... But generally, like, there used to be a plethora of things to go to. I remember, you know, like 10, 10, 12 years ago. And now it's like, I find as an adult on Halloween, there's nothing to do as far as, like, going to see... Going to a Halloween-themed dance party. Going to a goth show. Going to see music. Or going to costume contests. Anything that's real Halloween based. There's like nothing to do, really. And that's been a thing lately, which is has been weird. So, I had this idea of like, okay, I'm going to throw an impromptu little gathering with some friends, a party. And I reached out to, I reached out to about, I don't know, maybe five to seven people. And... A couple of people said they couldn't come. Some and most people said that they. It sounded like they were. And two or three people were going to definitely come. And that that would have been fine. My whole plan was to. to I was going to go get some food, get some pizzas, get some beer, and Halloween candy. And the whole goal was that we were going to watch the original Halloween movies on Blu-ray. I just bought the original John Carpenter version on Blu-ray recently. And I have a really, really great edition. And I have part two also. So the goal or the the, the objective of that night was to basically just he, he hang out, eat some good food and eat some candy and watch both of the Halloween movies back to back. And so, and I would have been happy with, it was like a week, at least a week's notice. And that I had, you know, asked a few friends. And I, the day of Halloween, I ended up having to do a bunch of cleaning. And then in the morning, I had a couple of things that I needed to do. But around that, I just, I basically cleaned my house. I got, went shopping, got the food and, and got everything ready and got everything set up. And it wasn't, again, it wasn't like, the idea wasn't to have like a big raging party. That would have been fun, but that would have take that would have I would have had to have planned longer and and uh, but this was like kind of impromptu when I figured like a week's notice. And I figure okay, this will be cool because typically, unless you have kids, if you're an adult, most people stay home now on Halloween, so they do their partying like the weekend before. So I got you know got all my stuff. And, you know, I told people to get here, uh, or I should say that I, the time I was shooting for was at 6.30 on Halloween night, and people will come over, have a little bit of food, and we'll just go right into the movies, you know, watch the movies. 
So, so I was super excited. And then, so I went out and I spent, you know, I spent a pretty good amount of money. I spent, I spent probably too much money, more than I thought I was going to spend, but fuck it. I was like, screw it, you know? So about an hour and a half or so before the show, I had a friend that canceled, called me and canceled. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. And that was going to be, so right there was like about two people that I knew that weren't going to show up. They were going to possibly or probably bring a guest. So they were out. So I was like, okay, that, that kind of sucks. And then I had another friend who said, who had called me or texted me, um, you know, about, I don't know, six o'clock that he was running a little bit late. He was just finishing up work and he was going to be heading out, leaving work in about 15 minutes. So I was like, cool. Okay. So at that point I started heating, I started heating the pizza and, and, and whatnot. And during that time, I still hadn't heard anything from couple of other people a couple of other friends about it kind of waiting around nobody said anything that they were coming or not and they did say they were going to let me know but they didn't so I didn't hear anything from them I'm like okay and then and then an hour and a half go, goes by almost two hours and nobody shows up and I'm like and I'm literally uh sitting in my house staring at the staring at the wall and I'm like this fucking sucks and no and literally nobody showed up and it was super lame and I was like this sucks this is stupid this is depressing why did I do this I shouldn't have spent any of this money so after I got over that being kind of pissed off and angry I watched Halloween and then I went to bed and I'm like this is so sad and pathetic and then I was just like yep this is the last time I tried doing this you know so yeah, my this Halloween was uh, one of was definitely the most lame Halloween I've ever had. It was totally stupid, and it's kind of the last time that I want to do it. I still think Halloween is my favorite holiday. Of course, it always will be. But as far as trying to plan things with people that are <sighs> wicked flaky and just can't let you know, it's one thing if you can't go, that's fine. But not letting somebody know and then this like last minute cancellation bullshit. Not a fan. So, I'm not going to do that anymore. So anyway, today's show, enough of that, enough enough of being a negative Nelly. Today's show is on, again, like I said, technically, or the last movie in the franchise. It was directed in the Friday 13 franchise. It was directed by Marcus Nispel. And Marcus Nispel, he's done a, free, a, a few reboot, a reboots or reimaginings, if you will. He did uh, two... Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, and then he did this one. And it's funny because he works, these productions are like Michael Bay productions, and Michael Bay are, what, is a, a, you know, a very big, he's not, he probably doesn't have the clout that he used to, but he's like a big time Hollywood kind of producer. You know, he's done films like Independence Day and Con Air, like the big over the top action movies. So it's interesting that he's kind of doing these like low budget kind of trashy movies even though he's giving them millions and millions of dollars for the production value. But Marcus Nispel, I did not like the Texas movies, the beginning and then the reboot at first. But I own both of those now on DVD, and eventually I want to get them on Blu-ray because I think those movies are amazing. I love those movies. I think they're ama- They're probably the best reboots or reimaginings of a classic movie or classic franchise. They're, it's just awesome. They're really good. And I kind of had mixed things about the, the the reboot, the 2009 version of Friday. I kind of felt, oh, okay, this is interesting. It's an interesting idea. And I, I saw it. I did not see it in a the theater, but I did see it on DVD. Again, it's so hard to believe that it's you know, 2009. And I, you know, I thought it was okay. And but over the years, like a like, a, you know, it's a it's a thing that happens a lot. Things grow with you over time, or you get into something more, or you revisit something that you liked, you know, when you were younger, and it's and then it just doesn't hold up or age well. 
But over time, the, the 2009 uh, movie has really uh, grown on me. I think it's really great. I think it's actually... It, it does an interesting thing because it does bring a couple of the movies, you know, into this movie uh, as far as, like, the storylines. You know, part two and chapter... Part two and chapter three and chapter four, kind of the better part the better movies obviously of the franchise you know the final chapter in part two there is that kind of incorporation of those films into this movie but yet it's it's kind of its own thing and it's interesting because it it is a a michael bay film and it is this big budget and it's new line cinema you know the production value for this is huge and so it does have this very hollywoody hollywood feel to it but I th still think they did a good job finding a balance. Like even though it's it's kind of glossy or such a big budget film uh, compared to say any of the other films in the franchise, but I thought they did a good job with re retaining kind of the dirtiness and the grit, the rawness of that film, of those films. I thought they did a great job. Marcus Nispel, I think did. I think even even more so of an incredible job of retaining the rawness. Like when he did the Texas, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, he's the two of them. Those movies are incredibly nasty and raw, like really big time. And I feel like he, he really, um, really, really, um, delivered that, he, you know, even more so, than the Friday Thirteenth movie, I I do like the Friday Thirteenth movies. I think I I prefer the the Texas movies just because they are raw, and I know it's a different world, but I still think that the reboot is actually really really good. the The ironic thing too is that this version that or this movie, the two thousand nine one, was the biggest box office. It was the it made more money than any other movie in the, in the entire franchise, which is nuts. I mean, when you're thinking how many movies are made, uh, were made, you know, with Paramount and, and then now with New Line Cinema, or, or was New Line Cinema. And the interesting thing is, too, it was like the first, obviously the very first Friday was a massive box office hit. But then, and then you have the very last one that came out in 2009, that one also being the biggest hit, and actually the biggest hit of the entire franchise. Um, yeah, I mean, so if there's never another another Friday Thirteenth movie, which at this point doesn't seem like it's going to happen, I'm sure maybe something will happen, but it's been years. So I will say they definitely kind of went out with a bang. So, but it's good. It's really good. I have a really great Blu-ray version of the film. It's. Um, you know, it's it's really good. It's really... Derek Mears is awesome as Jason. He's super fucking intense. He talks about in on the special features how Ted White, who was who played Jason on in the, the final chapter, that his portrayal of Jason and, and him as an actor, that, that's his favorite uh, version of Jason. You know, he talks about how Ted White just really, you know, was such an intense personality. And he just had this physicality on the, you know, for the final chapter. And I totally agree with that. Like, he, Ted White is my favorite. And Derek Mears does such a great job, like, reflecting that in his character. Yeah, it's, his version of, of Jason is super fucking intense. Like, it's really good. He carries the entire movie. So, in that regard, it's... You know he's so good in it that I feel like it's worth it's worth really watching this movie and checking it out, especially on Blu-ray. It's really great. So yeah, so this concludes, and there's again I'm going to talk about the next the next one um, or next thing related to the franchise. I'm going to be talking about the documentary. Uh, I think it's called The Many Faces of Jason. But this is the last movie in the franchise. So it's been a ride. I have to upload the other videos. So thanks again. And we will see you next time. Peace.